I am Glaus Maragiar, and first of all, it is a pleasure to be here and present this project today. Uh, me and my colleague, Dan Feldman, will talk about, um, probably know Dan, so we'll talk about the work to connect Eastil Service Mesh and Aspire. And at the end, we will demo our, progr our progress so far. So hope you like it and have some fun. In case you didn't know, Istio is a service mesh for Kubernetes. That means it adds a sidecar proxy alongside each service in your Kubernetes cluster. In order to enable advanced networking features like API gateways, load balancing, and mutual TLS encryption between services. For that mutual TLS encryption, Istio has always used spiffy certificates. But Istio doesn't have a lot of the advanced features of Spire, like attestation, a workload API, spiffy JOTS, and spiffy federation. On the other hand, everyone is using Istio. Its adoption is, is really widespread in the cloud native community. We don't want to have to force people but to choose between using Istio and using Spire. Instead, we want them to work together really well, and that's the purpose of this project. Before we started this project, we embarked on a number of different uh, easier approaches that didn't involve modifying Istio in order to make Istio and Spire more compatible. The first approach was tricking Istio into using Spire certificates uh, by essentially hijacking the traffic to the Istio uh, certificate authority. And this actually worked in early versions of Istio because those certificate requests to the Istio Citadel certificate authority weren't validated in any way. So you could actually just uh, put some kind of uh, proxy in the way that would intercept the, the certificate requests and, and put in a Spire certificate instead. Uh, but that hasn't worked in Istio for over a year now, because finally those Istio certificate requests are actually uh, encrypted and validated. Next, we tried using the same upstream CA, both for Istio and for Spire. This gets you some level of compatibility because then you can have some outside services that use Spire certificates and some inside services that use Istio certificates. And then uh, because they're both spiffy certificates, they, they have some level of compatibility with each other. But you still don't get all the advanced Spire features like attestation and the workload API. Next, what we tried using an Envoy sidecar, a, a second Envoy sidecar running inside Istio that translated Istio certificates to Spire certificates. Uh, so this basically doubles the overhead of doing mutual TLS encryption because you have an Envoy proxy that decrypts the Istio encrypted traffic and then re-encrypts it with Spire encrypted traffic. This works. It's a hack, and we wouldn't recommend anyone use it in production, but it, it does get you to uh, achieving part of the goal. And then finally, we also uh, attempted to uh, reconfigure the Envoy configs that Istio generates to read Spire certificates instead. And again, this does work. Uh, it causes some problems with communication with the Istio daemon and with uh, Istio gateways, and also it's a hack that probably no one would run in production. Uh, so what we really needed after, after trying all these approaches was a modified version of Istio that knows how to talk to Spire itself and get Spire certificates. So our goal for this project is to modify Istio itself to optionally use Spire certificates instead of Istio certificates. So there are no changes to Spire as part of this project, and there are some minimal changes to Istio in order to talk to Spire. Uh, so we started by developing a proposal and sharing it with the Istio community, gathering feedback from the Istio community. And then once we're complete, once we have this working 100% and tested and documented, we are planning to work with the Istio community to get it into upstream Istio. What does integrating Spire with Istio really buy us? First of all, and most importantly, it gets you attestation based on hardware or cloud identity. Istio doesn't have this by default. Uh, but with Spire and Istio working together, every node that's added to the Istio cluster, every workload that's running in that node can be attested down to its hardware identity using TPM or its cloud identity using instance metadata. Next, this will help with integrating with non-cluster workloads. So if you have a service that's running completely outside Kubernetes or just outside Istio, but still inside Kubernetes, it can get Spire certificates uh, straight from Spire and then workloads running inside Istio which are getting Spire certificates uh, through the modified version of Istio, then they can talk to each other. Next, you get easy federation from the Istio Spire instance to outside Spire instances or other OIDC federation. Maybe you can federate 
with an OIDC endpoint in order to access cloud APIs natively. Uh, so that's really helpful. Another security feature is that because Spire allows you to keep the, your root keys outside the cluster and also automatically rotate them frequently, it's a little bit more secure. Uh, Istio by default generates the root keys locally and keeps them inside the cluster and then it really never rotates them. Uh, so with Spire, you, you can keep all that key material outside the cluster. And then finally, workloads can access the workload API, which means they can get other certificates, not just the Istio certificates, but maybe some other certificate that you want to assign them, maybe some trust bundles, maybe some jots, other things that the workload API could provide in the future, and Istio workloads would be able to access that directly. In summary, what we're doing as part of this project is replacing Istio's internal certificate authority with a new integration path that allows connecting Istio to external certificate authorities. And then we have glue code that allows connecting Spire to this new certificate authority API. You no longer need to use the Spiffy workload API at all because all the incoming and outgoing traffic will go through the Istio proxy, which will automatically use the, the workload API under the hood and be able to access all the Spire certificates. But you still can use the workload API if you want. And this is a, a big advantage because mounting that workload API socket path can be challenging in certain situations where you have limited permissions on the Kubernetes cluster. And finally, there's a whole team working on this at HPE, not just us. And HPE is uh, committed to developing this new feature and getting it upstream into Istio as soon as we can. Thanks, Dan. Uh, let me go a little deep deeper here. In this diagram, we see a representation of the main components, APIs, and protocols in use within Istio self mesh ecosystem for communication and identity distribution. Envoy, the sidecar used within Istio service mesh, as Dan mentioned, communicates with each other using MTLS. Istio agent communicates with Istio D in the control plane for fetching identity for itself and for the sidecars. It does that using a CSR API, and this is not a good fit for Spire or workload API. So because of that, the path we decided to take was to teach Istio D and Istio agent how to fetch identity from Spire agent. To do so, we implemented a configuration that allows Istio to fetch identities from an implementation of the Spiffy workload API in this diagram represented by Spire agent as an alternative to using CSR API to fetch identities from Istio D directly. So we have two options available. And for those of you who may be curious, this was done using an interface, an existing interface in Istio called Secret Manager. So the chains are localized, very beautiful and elegant, I would say. And the communication between the sidecars was not changed. MTLS is still in place using Aspire issued certificates. In this slide, we can see the fetch identity flow using Istio default configuration and the alternative developed by this project using uh, an implementer of the Spiffy Workload API represented here by Spire. As you can notice, the change does not affect Envoy and how it integrates with Istio agent. It only affects Istio agent fetching identity and in the default flow, in the default flow, Istio agent generates key and CSR and contacts Istio D using an assigning request, which Istio D responds, uh, signing the request, the certificate acting as DCA. On the other side, when Istio is configured to fetch identity from, from Spire, Istio agent does not communicate to Ist with Istio D or nor use the CSR API. It connects to Spire agent using workload API to fetch identities. Although we did not represent it here, Istudy also interfaces with Spire agent for fetching its own identity. And that's the magic explained. Okay, but that's not all. Folks, there is more to come. The list of tasks has just started and includes, but is not limited to, federation, 
uh, TBD, which forms of federation we are talking about, is your federation, inspired federation, both together, if, if, if it even makes sense. But anyway, custom uh, SPFID supports. For those of you who know ISTU, you probably remember that it is only happy if SPFIDs follow a predefined standard which has namespace and service account identifications. However, if one wants more flexibility or leverage existing inspired issued identities that does not follow is to is standard, they are in trouble. So, and last but certainly not least, we are looking to upstream these chains as then already mentioned before. So enough talk, let's go to the show. And now it's time for the exciting part of our presentation, the demo of Istio and Spire working together. Today, we're going to be showing Istio and Spire, of course, but also Torniak, which is the user interface for Spire that's under development, and Kiali, which is the user interface for Istio that, that comes with Istio. The application we'll be demonstrating is called BookInfo, which is the built-in Istio demo app. It consists of a product page written in Python, a reviews page written in Java, a details page written in Ruby, and a rating service that's on the back end written in Node.js, and they all have to talk to each other. There are three instances of the reviews page, so each time you refresh the page, it will actually show a different review. Each service in Istio gets a sidecar proxy, so each one of these will have its own Envoy sidecar proxy, and because we're using Istio Spire rather than regular Istio, each one of these sidecar proxies will be getting its identity from Spire. So yeah, so thank you, Dan. And uh, let me just show you then this environment in which we have the Istio Spire uh, integration running. As Dan mentioned, we have book info application running as well. This is the, the main page of the book info. Oh, before I move on, this is running on AWS and EKS cluster that is stood up for this demonstration. And this is the book info. So we have the, the book details. This is the product landing page. And we have the book reviews here. If I reload the page, we will see change going on in this book review piece of the part of the, the page, which are provided by the three different reviews uh, workload and versions that then mentioned before. So looking at Kiali dashboard, we can see the traffic uh, going through Istio Ingress Gateway, through the product page, through the other uh, page like, and workloads like details, reviews, and ratings. And let's take a look at Torniak, uh, the, the UI for, for Aspire. Looking, this first page here is the Torniak dashboard. We can see that there are some information here, like the two, two agents that are running, one for running on the control plane and the other run, the other one running with the, the single node. Oh, I forgot to mention, this is uh, a two nodes cluster, one for the control plane and the other one for the data plane. And we have the two agents running here, one serving the, the ISTU agent running on the node and the other one uh, serving the ISTU D. And we have all of the entries that are uh, registered to Spire. I'm going to move to this uh, other view of the entries, which will be easier for us to identify some of the entries. Uh, so we have, let me just scroll down to show you the, the interesting ones, which are the ones related to the uh, book info application. So we have uh, the one related to the, uh, the book info details workload, the book info ratings workload, the book info reviews. And we have three different entries for the reviews uh, and the one for the product page itself. So, so that's it. In addition to the, the uh, other entries that are common for the Spire infrastructure. Thank you very much for attending our talk today. If you have more follow-up questions, please free, feel free to email either me or Glausomar, and you can also find us on Spiffy Slack all the time. Thanks. Bye. Thank you.